Hey, what's happening? Andy here with the Sports Card Life. For one of the first videos of this channel, I thought it'd be appropriate to talk about the first major set of hockey cards issued, the 1910 C56 set. The 1910 C56 set consists of 36 cards. There's also a known but extremely rare New Zealand lawn card that is numbered to 37. However, this particular card has some controversy and debate surrounding its origin and even its existence up until a few years back. This card is a very interesting story, so I plan to address the number 37 Lalonde card in a future video. While there are some early examples of cards dating back to 1879-1880 with drawn images depicting hockey players, the C56s are considered the first major issue of hockey cards. The C56 set features top players of the day from the National Hockey Association. This is the league that directly preceded the NHL from 1909 through to 1917. And even though there's no indication on the cards themselves, these cards were distributed in cigarette packs and the issuer is considered to be the Imperial Tobacco Company. Between 1910 and 1913, Imperial issued these miniature tobacco cards inside packs of cigarettes. The 1910 C56s actually came out the year before the C55s and then they were followed up by the C57s. These three sets are sometimes referred to as the three C's. The C56 set is considered to be slightly scarcer than the C55 set. With the outbreak of World War I in 1914, and as the players were enlisted to go to war, it put a strain on the NHA, and we didn't see hockey cards again until 1923. The NHA eventually disbanded in 1917, and then we saw the formation of the NHL. So the design itself is really neat. I really love the look of these old tobacco cards. The C56 hockey cards were manufactured using a printing technique called lithography, meaning the artist's drawing is prepared on a surface, in this case a prepared printing stone, and then the images were pressed on. The cards measure one and a half by two and five eighth inches and are essentially mini works of art. Featured on the front is a color lithograph of the player cased by a white border. The card number appears in the upper left corner while the player's name and team name appear on the bottom border. On the back we have a nice set design with the cross sticks and a puck above a boldly stated hockey series. Then we have the player's name and team followed by a little bit of previous team info. There are several key cards in the 1910 C56 hockey set. We have Art Ross who is the namesake for the Art Ross Trophy, an award given to the regular season scoring leader in the NHL and he's featured on two cards, number 8 and number 12. And aside from the extremely rare Lalonde card, Ross along with Jack Marshall are the only two players to appear on two cards. Other key cards in the set are number 15 Cyclone Taylor, number 26 Lester Patrick, number 36 Newsy Lalonde. In all there are 21 Hall of Fame players featured in this set plus the additional Art Ross card so 22 of the 36 cards are Hall of Famers. Low grade examples of the C56s can still be found online for relatively uh, inexpensive prices but the high grade examples demand big dollars. A few examples of some recent sales uh, according to the official PSA site in 2017 a PSA 4 number 36 Lalon sold for $2160 a PSA 5 number 33 Jack Marshall sold for $1440 also in 2017 uh, a PSA near mint 7 uh, number 23 Petra sold for $3600 and a PSA excellent at mint graded a 6 of the Lester Patrick number 26 card sold for $3000 a few years ago I started to put together a low grade graded set of the C56s. I think I had about 28 or 29 of the 36 cards. I had all of the commons so to speak and a couple of the key cards. I had one of the Art Ross cards and the 36 Lamond. Uh, maybe I'll get back to putting a full set together someday. Uh, I do feel like this set is undervalued and has a lot of upward potential in the market. So thanks for watching. Please let me know what you think. Uh, do you think the C56s are the rarest of the early 3Cs? Do you think that, uh, in your opinion, what's the most sought after card in the set? Hope you found the video interesting. Hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up.